This is 240. This is 120. Nice bandsaw. It's exciting. Kind of not as exciting if you can't plug it in. This is this is just something I'd like to talk about. Most motors that come with electrical equipment are dual voltage. In other words, you can wire them for 120 or 240 volts. And just a clarification here is doesn't matter which way you wire the motor only ever sees 120 volts now maybe angry sparky can come in and talk about why that is but basically what it is is either the coils are in series or parallel it's my understanding and so um when you wire a motor to 240 it just allows the coils to either split the voltage by series or parallel connection. And so even a 240 volt motor still only takes 120 volts, kind of in a little side note there. At any rate, you could check to see if your motor and your switch are capable of the amperage that would increase if you did go to 110 volts. That's pretty much the only difference. When something's at 240 volts, the amperage draw is divided in half, mostly because it has two hot legs, right? So the amperage can go down two series. But guess what? They all end up with the motor, same amount of amps. Power, I should say. Not to confuse anybody. But you could check to see if the motor is dual voltage, reconfigure the connections in the pecker head and yes that is the real name for the junction box on a motor and uh, see if your switch is rated for the amperage draw which would be on the motor tag anyway enjoy your new saw looks like a beauty